for everybody to arrive. So big thank you everybody for joining us on the Luxury webinar. I'm going to make a start today and let everybody introduce themselves. So I'm going to stop sharing and so you can meet all of the team. So Victoria, tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Victoria from Paradise Promotions. Um, today, I'm going to be telling you all about the properties in Turks and Caicos that we represent and also S Hotel in Jamaica. And the prize is a £50 either Amazon voucher or you could have, yeah, it will be an Amazon voucher, actually, and, unless you want something different. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, we've also got Catherine. Catherine, hello. You've just come Hi back. there. Nice. I'm uh, Hi Catherine there. Wood. I'm the regional account director for the Sun CM uh, group of properties in the Maldives. Um, and I am going to be talking, very briefly talking, moving fast through through all of them, hopefully giving you a little bit of a guide of why to go to each property. Um, and I've got my prize as a £50 voucher as well. Super amazing. Thank you very much, Catherine. Last but not least, we've got Adele. Adele, hello. Hi, um, I'm Adele. My family own and run the Calabash Hotel in Grenada. So I'll be just telling you about one hotel today. Um, and our prize will be a £50 voucher, I think it is, yeah. that we usually do. Yeah. Oh, dollars. Like a pl pl um, platform. Super. Thank you, Adele. Adele, take us to Grenada. We're looking forward to seeing your hotel and hearing all about it. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it, forward to it too. Right, I'll just put on presenter mode and hopefully everyone can see that. Shout okay. if you can't, perfect. Um, right, so I'm really happy to, to, to see you all this, well, morning for me, probably afternoon for you, um, and tell you about uh, my family's hotel, which is the Calabash Hotel in Grenada. We are part of Relay and Chateau, one of a very few in, in, in the Caribbean. Um, oh, right, <clears throat> so... You may all know where Grenada is, but for those who don't, I just sort of highlight it on this map of the Caribbean. So we're in the very south of the Caribbean, meaning that we're outside of the hurricane belt, making Grenada a great year round destination. Our airlift, I've got airlift from U the UK and the US. Um, so the UK airlift is uh, Wednesday, Saturdays and Sundays with British Airways from London Gatwick and then Virgin Atlantic from Heathrow, Tuesdays and Fridays. And they've just announced that they're actually adding on another flight on a Saturday. So three flights each from uh, the UK airlines per week with a total of six. And then from the US, the airlift is a little bit better. We've got daily flights with JFK, uh, from JFK with JetBlue. And in November, we've got a weekly flight starting from Boston with JetBlue. And then uh, American Airlines daily flights um, uh, from Miami and weekly flights from Charlotte. So, Calabash in a nutshell, um, we are uh, only 30 suites, but we've got a lot of facilities. So it's more like a resort style hotel. We're set on eight acres uh, of beautiful beach beachfront land um, and having so much space with just only 30 suites does sort of give that feeling of not, you know, even where, uh, when we're at 100% occupancy, um, it doesn't feel too crowded. Um, so 30 suites, we've got three restaurants, three bars, we've got a, fa a spa, full, a 24 hour fitness center. We've also do lots of um, in-house weekly activities. We've got a full dive and water sports center on site, which is just down on the beach, um, a couple of flood lit tennis courts, and also got a boutique on site. So these are just who I consider our um, best or our clients that uh, people that work best for us. So honeymooners, couples, people who like food. We've got three restaurants and part being part of Raleigh and Chateau. We do welcome families. We've got interconnecting suites. So the suites work really well for families. Um, and having such a large and um, calm beach as well is great for families. But we do not have a kids club. So just putting that out there. <laughs> um, so this is the layout of the property. We've got our suites all in a semicircle shape. So they We've all got the same view, pretty much, facing out towards the beach. So everyone's got a, a sea view. Um, we've got our main facilities down in this area. And then up on the hillside, we have got our um, villas. So our suites are really where we put a lot of our focus on. We Each year, we close the hotel August and September. That's when we do our maintenance. But we also take part of the hotel and upgrade it. And the past couple of years, we've been upgrading our suites. So this is our penthouse suite, which we did last year. This year, when we close, we upgraded our pool suites and our um, west side suites. Uh, and just heading after this 
call heading off to go and have them photographed because they have and unfortunately haven't got any photographs to show you at the moment they will be up and emailed to you all soon but they're very they, they match the style of these photos that i'm showing you very contemporary caribbean and feel it and feel very spacious we have give a lot of consideration to our guests who spend a lot of a long time with us um so they the suites very much feel like you're at home um of sort of a look and, and luxurious em uh, emphasis in the bathrooms as well. I have actually got a video of our penthouse suite that, and we've got one for each of our room categories. It takes you through the suite and sort of really gets you, gives you um, uh, a real feel of what they feel like. Um, so onto food and beverage, which is, as I mentioned, a very important uh, part of um, what we do here at Calabash. And it starts with breakfast, uh, which is served in two very unique ways. So um, the first way is, is in suite. So it's a full in-room dining experience, no extra cost. It's all included in the rate or you can have breakfast on the beach. So two really nice ways to start the day. Our beach club restaurant is uh, where guests spend most of the day. This is where we have uh, serve lunch. Um, and also breakfast. Um, we also do a couple of nights a week down there just to sort of mix it up. And the, me the menu is more casual, um, sort of tapas style dishes. And then we've got Rhodes Restaurant, which is our fine dining restaurant. This restaurant is always very busy and, and, and in demand. Um, the uh, It's a sort of very classic contemporary Caribbean sort of mixed with European style menu using a lot, uh, uh, mostly um, uh, all ingredients sourced from Grenada. So we're very, very strong in sustainability, especially sustainability when it comes to our, our menus on a food or beverage product. Um, because Rhodes was such a popular um, restaurant and also because we felt that we wanted to, to offer an alternative to fine dining every evening, we op opened up our third restaurant, which is called Izakaya. It is up at our pool area, so it's more casual style dinner service. Um, and uh, the menu style is very similar to Nobu, sort of Latin Japanese style dishes. We're set on a lovely white sand beach. Um, everybody comes to the Caribbean for, for the beach um, and the bay is very calm as well. So it's so as I mentioned, it's great for, for young kids as well. And we all have got water sports on the beach as well. We've got a pool overlooking the property. Um, we've got an Elmas uh, spa um, that's also very popular. A couple of tennis courts. We do in-house activities um, such as uh, yoga twice a week. We do um, cookery demonstrations um, we do chocolate tasting wine tasting and rum tasting as well diving is fantastic in Grenada Grenada is the dive capital of the eastern Caribbean um, so um, you can do that straight from 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 the hotel the dive sites are all 20 minutes away so it's very sort of easy and convenient um, we like to put together very nice um, special events like private beach dinners and picnics which are um, a, a really lovely thing to do Grenada as a destination is a really fantastic destination. It's what I love about it is that it's incredibly safe, but it has got a super combination of fantastic white sand beaches, but also a great rainforest product. So you can literally be on the beach and 30 minutes later at a waterfall. So it's all very close together and it's sort of very rare to have the beach and the rainforest all in one place. So you can do as little or as much as you want to do in Grenada. There's a lot of history and culture deep rooted in agriculture. So we are known as the Isle of Spice. So there's a lot to do with that. But also we are well known for fine flavored chocolate in Grenada. So um, you can go to chocolate factories, make your own chocolate bar, see the whole process from the bean all the way through to the bar. Uh, and then I always recommend sailing around Grenada. It's fantastic sailing. We're just at the south at the bottom of the Grenadine Island chain. So we do have guests that come stay a few, stay a few nights with us, charter a yacht, sail up to the Grenadines, which are just stunning, stunning islands, um, and then back down again. So it's a really fantastic and highly recommended thing to do. I wanted to highlight our winter offer. So at the moment, <clears throat> we have not got a lot of availability left for October, November, and December. So we're really trying to push everybody over to 2020, uh, to quarter one, 2024. And we've got this fantastic offer, which gives you a minimum of $400 resort credit uh, between third 
to 17th of January and 9th to 23rd of March. Those are just the dates that where we have pockets of availability. So we're really trying to push that offer. So if you stay 10 nights, you get $1,000. If you stay 14 nights, you get $1,400. So it's a really, really valuable offer. Um, so I hope it helps you sell and push over to Grenada. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Adele. It's a great presentation there and great to see the hotel. And we're looking forward to all of those um, images for the uh, renovation that you've done. And um, make yeah. sure that you joined up to the um, Agent Reward Programme um, for Calabash Luxury Boutique Hotel in Grenada. And you will receive them all via the message board. So thank you, everybody, for uh, listening to Adele. If you've got any questions, please pop them into the Q&A. Um, and Adele will get back to you because she has to leave us shortly, but she'll get back to us um, yeah. later on today. I'm so going to try and type the answers in here so that you can hopefully all see them. Super amazing. You're a treasure. Thank you, Adele. We it's love you. All right. OK, we're now going to leave Grenada and we're popping across to the Indian Ocean to the Maldives. Catherine, over to you. All right, let me try and share my screen. Here we go. Okay, hopefully you can all see that. Okay. So I'm Catherine uh, Wood. I am the Regional Account De Director for the Sun CM Group of Properties in the Maldives. Independently owned by Mr. CM, uh, he is part of the Maldivian government out there. And uh, it's a family run business. So it's run by brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, you name it, they're all there. Um, so it's nice. We're also the biggest group now. So it's nice that the biggest group in the Maldives is a Maldivian family run business, I think. So I'm going to start with the Sun Siam Irafushi. Um, I consider this his most superior of the properties, five star deluxe. Go to probably families um, more. So families got a bit of a, a better budget. Um, seaplane transfer. This requires a seaplane transfer to the north. So that's a 45 minute seaplane transfer to the north there. We have two private seaplane lounges in the seaplane terminal. Uh, one for the CM world and the other lounge is for all the other properties that require a seaplane, yeah, all brand new. You will arrive up into the resort and this is your lead in room type, deluxe beach filler. It's huge, 125 square metres. Ceilings are really high here um, and all come with this nice little cabana on the beach. And then up one category, uh, deluxe beach villa with pool now. And that is a proper pool. Yes, you can get some proper swimming in that, yes. We've got a few of these family deluxe beach fillers with pool. Um, these are a slightly bigger room and they, as you can see, got a separate bedroom, separate sitting area there. So we can have up to three kids in this room type and you can actually close the doors off and have the two separate sleeping areas. This comes with a pool at the front and then we have exactly the same uh, room type with a pool at the back of the property. And um, the idea being walled off nice and private. So a great option for Muslim families who want to bathe in privacy. Um, this is your lead in water villa category. A nice big deck there, steps into the sea. Yes, and you'll go up in categories where you've got a guaranteed sunset view, uh, jacuzzi tub in your deck, right up to the top category, uh, infinity uh, water villa with pool, which basically has a separate bedroom, sitting room, and a massive pool in your deck. USP is definitely, I'd say, of this property, though, is the dining here. So just uh, we have 14 bars and restaurants at the Irafushi. So when you book here, you'll book bed and breakfast. You can upgrade half board, full board, all inclusive. And it is dine around on all those options. So we have Italian, French, Asian, Indian, seafood, grills, buffet. Yeah. So you get a little app once you get into resort and you can get on and book, book your restaurants at what time you want, when you want. Nice and easy. Another USP, I'd say, of this uh, room, uh, we have 23 treatment rooms here and over 160 treatments to choose from, plus a whole wellness program. So you could spend a lot of time and a lot of money in there. Yeah. Lots of offers on. We're pushing uh, lots of offers at the moment. We, we, need to, we can fill up for November, December, we need. So we're offering two free plane transfers. And um, this is for all the travel windows um, for two adults if you get to seven nights. Now, 
pushing the last couple of months of this year, so November, December, uh, we're adding 35% off as well with those free seaplanes. Festive, we basically got, uh, again, those two free seaplane transfers, but just 25 off water villas now. And then for the rest of the year, from, from 11th January onwards, again, those two free seaplane transfers, about 25% off all the rates. So really pushing at the moment. Kids is what we're going to talk about here. As I said, it's a family resort. We're encouraging the children. So we consider kids here to be under 15, not under 12, as, as normal with other resorts. So that's two kids in your room under 15 free of charge. But also, they eat on the same meal plan as the parents free. So that's a heck of a saving. Moving swiftly on, um, I'm going to the CM world now. This opened October 21, and it opened with a bang in the UK market. So uh, five star deluxe again, and again, a seaplane transfer to the north. That is again, 45 minutes, and it has its own private seaplane lounge in the in, uh, seaplane terminal. It is next door to the Irofushi as well. So if you want to do a twin center, you can you can try try them both and zip on over by a boat, just five minutes away. To date, this is one of the biggest islands in the Maldives. Yes, that's going to take you an hour and a quarter to walk around. So there is a buggy system that goes around the island all the time. So you come out of your room, you stand at the nearest bus stop, jump on the buggy when it comes, and you basically nip off whatever restaurant or bar or pool you, you want. Yeah. Lots of USPs are on this property. Firstly, every single room here has its own private pool. All the water villas have pools and slides into the sea. It's got a 24-hour line around all-inclusive program. The largest floating water park in the Maldives. And he has just built the most beautiful stables uh, in the middle of the island where he's now got seven horses as well. And you'll quite often see Mr. Siam riding the horses around the island. Another USP is this is your lead and run type, okay? Uh, so this is your water villa with pool and slide, except two adults and one child. We do accept, sort of obviously, advise your guests the kids are too young and they don't swim. This is not an idea of it would be better. Go up one category, lagoon water villa with pool and slides, except two adults and two kids in this room type. Bigger now, got a bigger deck there, bigger plunge pool. And then we have the ocean water villas with pool and slide, pretty much the same size as the lagoon, um, but just a different room configuration. So we now have the bedroom and with the bathroom to the side and a big bathing tub that looks out over the ocean. We also only accept adults in the ocean villas with pool and slide. So effectively, we're giving two jetties that are kids free. So this resort is not, everybody thinks it's just for kids. It is definitely not uh, just for kids. It is attracting a different market, probably late 20s, early 30s. You probably wouldn't have thought of going to the Maldives because they might find it a little bit boring. This this resort is very lively. So it's attracting, attracting a different audience, yes. We have two and three bedroom lagoon water villas with pool and slides. So the way this works is bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom joined not by a sitting room, but by a big decking area with a big pool, yes. We do have a two bedroom ones as well. Lead in beach category here, sunset pool beach filler, except two adults and two kids. And go up one category to the beach suite with pool. So for those families with three kids, this is the perfect option now. So if they can't push to a two, two bedroom property, I will accept three uh, children in this. This is bedroom here, separate sitting room and the pool at the front. We also have two bedroom uh, room types, three bedroom room types, up to a six bedroom, two storey palace. So li literally we can fit in any budget and any, any configuration of family here. When you book here, it's just dine around, get on with it. So we've got a couple of buffet restaurants, four a la carte, five bars, the shipwreck bar offering a bit of uh, pizza and pasta. It's the Kuluvaru Sports Bar that's the 24 hour element. So, when everything else closes down, that will stay open all night and give you snacks throughout the night as well. Yeah. There's that floating water park. This floating water park, very hard work. 
again, we've got offers on. So you get to a minimum of seven nights. We're going to throw in two free sea plane transfers. And that is for two persons per room. So you've got a two bedroom property uh, with four people in that will be four free sea plane transfers. Uh, and we're also combining that with 20% off. Yes. Moving swiftly on, Sunsiam Iru Valley, very different, much smaller. Uh, again, five star deluxe, premium, all inclusive. Um, attracts couples, lots of honeymooners. Yes, love this resort. Again, a seaplane transfer to the south there, 40 minutes. That is your lead in room time, not too shabby, very bright, really high ceilings. Uh, USPs, every room here has its own private pool. But what the key to this property is what is included in the premium all inclusive. So it is dying around. Your mini bar gets filled every day with soft drinks, uh, beers and with wine. Uh, three excursions are included in your stay. Um, a hundred US dollar spa credit is included. You don't want to use that because swap it with three dives a week. Jet ski credit included uh she's for every day so you're getting the gist here don't really need to spend outside what you what you've already put down on the on the room there lead in water villa category here again nice and bright with those high ceilings and then one up, well, up is the dolphin ocean suite only main difference really is location there are the, the ocean just got 14 of the suites and it's next to a very uh beautiful reef and there's a cut through where the dolphins swim past again it's just dine around get on with it so we have the fine dining italian over the water buffet restaurants which changes its theme every day seafood grill on the beach we've got a couple of bars spa chemistry as the main bar with the evening entertainment and that's by family friendly pool and then we've got another bar here which does some snacks during the day and that's by the adults only pool Beautiful little spa here. Again, we're throwing in those free seaplane transfers for uh, minimum stays of seven nights. And if you want to combine that with the 25% off all room types and two kids under 12 free, yes, beautiful resort. Next and swiftly moving on, we have the Sun Siam Villa Reef, uh, what I call a five-star lead-in property. So that comes in at an excellent price. So if you're struggling with somebody's budget and they want five star take a look at the villa reef yeah the first property that mr cm opened some 25 years ago now and the key thing here is repeaters yes the last time i was there two couples who'd been there 18 times yeah we have mama and papa who've been there 41 times in 25 years it tends to attract older couples because it's a very small island and we retain the staff so everybody recognizes them when they come yeah but again, that is a seaplane transfer to the south there. Just 100 rooms, nice and jungly. And it is next door to the Ira Valley, as before. So again, you can do a twin center option without having to fly back to Mali. Lead in room type here, uh, deluxe uh, beach villa with big ceilings there. And again, very bright with a splash of orange and pink and banner. Go up a category to jacuzzi deluxe beach villa has the addition of a jacuzzi tub right up to the top category here, which now has a, a lovely big pool, yeah? Leading over water is a reef filler, very big, uh, all with a jacuzzi tub on the deck. Go up some uh, category to the sunset, reef filler, and that basically addition of a sunset, uh, guaranteed sunset view, yeah? Right to the top category here. Aqua suite, separate bedroom, separate uh, sitting room, and that big pool. Again, it's design around here, uh, so, we have the uh, buffet restaurant over the water there, seafood, a meat grill on the beach. We have Spice Restaurant, which offers pasta in the day and Indian in the evening, and a couple of bars, beautiful little spa. Kids club free of charge, two to under 12s here. So yes, the USP is definitely affordability, but also this is the one with the house roof. It's got one of the best house roofs in the Maldives. So if your guests want somewhere that's really good for snorkeling, it's in the name, Villa Reef, yeah, good, good go to there. Just 20% off the rooms for this one because that's all we need to do because all those repeaters fill it up, yeah? And then last but not least, the Sun Siam Olu Valley, our four star plus property. Really good four star. And for those again who are struggling with a budget, it's a really good look to here. Also the fact that it's a speedboat transfer helps keep those costs down, yes?
Lead in room type, deluxe room, comes in blocks of four, two up, two down, some with interconnection. The bathing area is within the room, really good price. And then up one category on the beach, Grand Beach uh, Villa now. This comes with or without the pool, very bright here, the splash of orange and green. Grand Beach Suite with Pool is the go-to room for those families with, with the more than two kids. We'll accept up to three kids in this room type because we've got that separate bedroom and sitting room. And then these are the new grand uh, water villas and they come with or well, without pool. Beautiful rooms. When you book here, it's on full board, which just means that you get all your meals at the buffet restaurant. You can upgrade uh, to all inclusive which is a small supplement, which just means your buffet meals and your beverages. Uh, we're 40% off the a la carte, or you can upgrade again to the premium all-inclusive, which basically means then now you can dine around to all the a la carte restaurants. So you've got the meat and seafood grill, you've got a Thai restaurant, you've got an Indian restaurant, pizzeria. So the UK market seems to like that option more, I think. Couple of spas. This is the new one, which is the Overwater Spa. We've got another spa on the main island. Beautifully uh, renovated kids' club, free of charge, three to under 12s. Lots of activities kite surfing, windsurfing, catamaran sailing, you name it. We've got a lovely little house reef at the end of the pontoon. So lots of things to do, yes. We've currently got 20% off all the room types, and uh, we're also throwing in a lucky dolphin cruise for two adults and two kids. But that cruise is only free for rooms above the lead-in yeah again i want to encourage uh, the families here so we consider kids under 15 here not under 12 like normal resorts so two kids it's in your room free under 15 also on the same meal plan also they transfer for free as well if you want a second room we'll give for the kids so you've got lots of kids we'll give you 50 percent off the second room okay i've done it sarah and i think i've done it in time <laughs> excellent thank you very much you was very quick very very quick <laughs> And you've got so many hotels and so many offers. Um, it's yeah, it's interesting. And then what is interesting is all the different hotels that, that are that are suitable for different segments, um, which is brilliant. So thank you for covering that. We love it. So um, any questions you've got for Catherine, please pop them into the QA. Catherine, there's a couple for you at the moment. Um, so if, as we get more, we'll be able to answer these. So thank you, Catherine. Thank you for taking us on that lovely little trip of the Maldives and your super hotels. Um, so we're now going to skip off back to the Caribbean and we're going to Turks and Caicos and Jamaica. So Victoria, it's all yours. Thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen now. Hopefully everybody can see this okay. It's just coming. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. Okay, so hi everybody. Um, Victoria from Paradise Promotions, and I'm going to take you straight away to Turks and Caicos, um, which is back in the Caribbean. Um, it's a British territory which you might not be familiar with, um, and it's super exciting because we're going to have a direct flight coming on uh, Virgin from the 4th of November, which will fly throughout the year twice a week. So it will be direct into Turks and Caicos, and then it will go on. Um, and one of the destinations is actually Jamaica, which is why I've twinned this um, training with S Hotel in Jamaica. So Turks and Caicos is um, a string of islands. You can see on the screen whereabouts it is located within the Caribbean. Um, and we are going to go to Provincialis, which is one of the main um, islands. It's where the international flights come in. And our hotels are just about 15 minutes away from the airport. The other lovely thing about um, Provincialis is that you have so many different bars and restaurants. You can hire a car, you can drive around the, around the island. I always feel that it's a really lovely blend almost of the Maldives and Barbados because you have these incredible beaches, but you also have lovely fine dining restaurants, street bands, cafes, art galleries that you can go out to. You can, you can take bicycles. We have bicycles at all our properties, um, which are complimentary for adults and children. So as soon as you arrive, you can grab a bike and go out. Uh, this is the conch shack, which is one of my favorites um, down on the beach. You can have a really lovely rum punch and they have live music here. Uh, another one of my favourites is Bugaloos. Um, if you can imagine just sitting here 
and I'm just going to do a little recording. So you've literally got your toes in the water and all the tables. It's just, just very, very, um, or not very deep water, which just goes out for miles. And uh, just off the beach from the bar, these tables are there. So you can go and sit um, and have a really lovely beer there. Um, Coco Bistro, which is um, a fine dining restaurant, is beautiful. The food is amazing. If you don't always want to do fine dining, then you can go across to Coco Van, which is um, one of the other properties, the other restaurants, which is really lovely. And also the hotels in Turks and Caicos, they make such a big effort with their restaurants. So it's very common for guests to go around to the different hotels and they have fairy lights on the beach. Um, they have live music they have fire pits so it's definitely a thing to do in Turks and Caicos you would go to the other hotels in the local area and you would eat at their restaurants and these are just some of the other pictures that I took my favorite cafe lemon to go which is lovely some art galleries some shops and things so that just gives you a little bit of a background of the destination of Turks and Caicos and Provincialis so the first property we have is called the Sands it's situated in Grace Bay so you can walk to the shops and the restaurants and things um, in the Grace Bay area. And the Sands is a four star property. It's on the beautiful Grace Bay Beach, which is a fabulous beach for doing, um, learning to do um, sky uh, kite surfing and also diving. It actually has the world's second largest reef. So it's a really great place for diving. The rooms, we have hotel rooms up to one and two bedroom suites as well. So it's a really great lead in pro product if you've got clients that are looking to go to Turks and Caicos. And then um, these, these are just images again that I took of some of the rooms. So it just gives you an idea. All of the rooms have the kitchen area in them as well. So your clients can self cater. The room rates at the Sands are all room only. We do have a restaurant on property called Hemingways, but it's an independently owned restaurant. So we don't do any meal plan packages within the rates. Um, but these just to give you as well some really lovely pictures of that amazing beach and the pool area. So it's great for families. Um, and then just up from the sands is the palms. Now, when they initially designed the palms, they actually took the architect over to Barbados and they showed him Sandy Lane. And from that, he came back and designed this incredible resort, which is absolutely beautiful. This is the lobby area. So this is the area that you'll come into. And again, as I mentioned, it is Grace Bay. So you can walk into the areas of Grace Bay. We have more meal plans here because we have more restaurants that we manage and own. So Parallel 23 is our fine dining restaurant, which is a really lovely place to have dinner and overlooks the garden. Um, it has a really lovely bar area here as well. We have um, a restaurant area for breakfast. We have a beautiful restaurant as well by the pool that's actually between the pool and the main beach. Again, the rooms are beautiful, but they all offer the self-catering option. You can have a chef come in and cook for you as well if you wanted to. And of course you have um, daily housekeeping. So everybody is on holiday, even though they do have this self-catering option. And we have beautiful um, executive penthouses here. And if you had a three bedroom and a two bedroom on the same floor, we can actually set the lift so that you actually would have the whole floor if you had a larger group, a family or friends. We have um, arguably one of the best spas in um, Provincialis, in Turks and Caicos. Um, Como is the other spa, which is really renowned, but you have to get a private boat to get to Como and back. But our spa is 24,000 feet. It's absolutely stunning. It really reminds me, actually, if you've been to Coral Reef and seen their spa, it's very similar. Um, so it's a really lovely design and it's a lovely place to come and have your treatments and just sit and relax in afterwards. Here's the pool area and of course that absolutely stunning beach. And again, um, our GM is learning to, to kite surf here. So uh, this is a really fabulous beach for kite surfing, swimming. The water is warm and it's crystal clear. Um, it's just an incredible part of the Caribbean. And that's the beach again. And the sand really is that white. So um, it's a really fabulous um, place to stay. And then we're going to go around the corner to the Shore Club, which is in um, Long Bay. Now, the Shore Club was voted the most Instagrammable hotel in the world back in 2022. And it is the most incredible place you will ever go to. Um, it's beautiful. It's a mix of villas. We actually have um, six six bedroom villas on the property, but we also have an, a range of hotel rooms, suites, one, two, three bed and suites, executive penthouses, 
We have um, Surin, which is our Japanese Peruvian restaurant, which is just amazing. Uh, we have Sea Grapes, which is a beachfront restaurant. We also have um, the courtyard. Uh, so we have loads of different places where you can eat. We have three swimming pools. Um, this is the main pool area where you can hire a cabana in the central area. They've actually got a fire pit. So in the evening, you can come and sit around the fire pit. The pool is open 24 hours a day. There's the rope bar, which you can see down in the corner here. This is a really lovely place during the daytime to grab a light lunch or a snack. And then um, in the evening, it's lovely to come and have a drink here, maybe before you go for dinner or if you're coming back from dinner as well. It's a really lovely place. This is Surin, which is the, uh, the Japanese restaurant I mentioned, which is just amazing. Uh, and then some of the, um, the accommodation. So this is our executive penthouse, um, which is absolutely stunning. It has the most incredible sea views, um, uh, wonderful big bathrooms, and it would be a three bedroom option. But again, you can have a two bedroom executive penthouse on the same level as a three bedroom, and you can then have that whole floor to yourself. Uh, one of the other elements that we have at this property is actually underneath we have tunnels. Um, so if you had clients who wanted a little bit more autonomy and they didn't want to be seen walking around the property, um, they can come into the hotel, go in under the, underneath in one of the tunnels, get out of their luxury vehicle and go straight in the lift and up to their accommodation. Um, and then these are the villas. So the six six bedroom villas, which you can either rent or sell as a six bedroom, a five bedroom or a four bedroom. Um, they are immaculate and stunning. They come, of course, with butler service. They're right on the beach. Um, so as you leave the villa, you come off the villa at the end, you've got this lovely beach area where you have your own private water sports, uh, non-motorised water sports. Um, and I'm just going to play you a little video just to kind of set the scene. Hey! was um, Turks and Caicos and then nicely connecting with the Virgin flight into Turks and Caicos from the UK um, you can actually go over to Montego Bay um, in Jamaica so if you did want to do a twin centre this could work quite nicely uh, I'm not sure how many minutes I've got left but um, I'm going to try and just take you through this property because it is incredible it's where culture meets hospitality and if you haven't been to Jamaica um, you really really should go and and see this property we are two or three minutes from the airport. All right, I'm, I'm doing okay. So we've got um, two or three minutes from the airport uh, of Montego Bay. So it's perfect if your clients um, have just come off that direct flight from, um, from the UK. It's a boutique hotel. And we say it's a boutique hotel because although we have 120 rooms, um, and suites in the Montego Bay area, most of the hotels have three, four, 500 rooms. So we are still, we have that vibe, that vibe of being a boutique hotel. We're a member of small luxury hotels of the world. Um, 
We are all inclusive, we are adults only, and that's age 16 upwards. So we do welcome uh, families with older children, um, but obviously as long as they're age 16. Uh, it's that kind of Miami South Beach in its style, but it's very, very rootsy Jamaican, and that vibe resonates right the way through the property. The owner is Jamaican, and he's very passionate that everyone should really feel that they're in Jamaica when they come and stay at um, S Hotel. And so kind of the, the art, the, the island's music, entertainment, it runs through the veins of this property. In fact, he's actually had commissioned 20 life-size heroes and as statues uh, which are throughout the property with a plaque so you've got everybody from the very first prime minister of jamaica to louisa bennett who is um, a poet and had uh, got jamaicans very passionate about speaking in patois again there's jimmy cliff bob marley hussein bolt and we actually do offer a jamaican cultural tour as part of the guest experience and we take you through the hotel and talk to you all about the uh, the heroes of jamaica the rooms are beautiful um, they all look out over the caribbean sea except the mini king room so please be very mindful when selling this room particularly for clients that are coming in for a week or 10 nights or 14 nights it's a smaller room and it doesn't have the sea view so i would always recommend that you upgrade them to the ocean view double deluxe rooms and from and then go from there but we have award-winning bathrooms with wonderful soaking tubs so it is a fabulous um, room option uh, in terms of dining we actually have five restaurants on the property so for a 120 rooms um there's always somewhere for people to eat. We have Roots Rock, which is our newest restaurant, but we have fine dining restaurants. And again, the music theme flows through the restaurants um, and the property. And we've just opened uh, our own nightclub called S Club. So it's not in the hotel, so you don't need to worry about the noise, but it is on the property of, um, of S Hotel. And that is open on a Thursday, Friday and Saturday night at the moment. And of course we have live music in the fine dining restaurant, a pianist or a saxophonist. We have a DJ around the pool playing those kind of reggae vibes. And then we have live bands as well. We are on arguably the best beach in Montego Bay, Doctor's Cave Beach. It's a private beach. Um, if anybody else wants to come onto the beach, they do have to pay to come on. We have direct beach access from our pool area. We have reserved sun lounges. Um, and we do waiter service on the beach and it is a beautiful beach and when we were there in April we actually had some eagle rays swimming around so the 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 swimming there is fabulous but if you'd rather sit by the pool we have this lovely main pool area and then we have our infinity pool which is up on the sky deck and this pool is again is open 24 hours a day and on the sky deck you get the best best sunsets and twice a week we do invite guests to come up and have a glass of champagne and watch that sunset with us we have a fabulous spa called the Irie Spa and Bars. Irie being a Jamaican term for everything's fabulous, it's okay. And the spa really is amazing. And we have these three different temperature pools as well. So after you've had your treatments, you can go and sit and enjoy the pools. We have a 24 hour gym as well, which is as you would expect um, in a hotel. Uh, we have a fabulous guest um, activities director, Andreas, who has put a wonderful plan together for your guests. So rum tasting, coffee tasting, complimentary yoga on the beach. Um, if you do make a booking, please do email me and I will forward the email and introduce you to Andre because he would love to put a note in the room for your clients and have that connection between you and him and them so that they really feel welcome. And obviously being in the hip strip of Montego Bay, we are actually in the best location for people to be able to walk out and enjoy the bars and the restaurants. We do take a fan trip out every year. If you'd like to come on a fan trip, please do drop me an email. Um, this is some photos from our fan trip this year and it just shows you the other activities that you can do very close by to the resort. Um, and we have excellent service. So this is really great for you guys to have in your toolkit. Um, in 2022, S Hotel was voted the number one hotel in Montego Bay by Condé Nast Traveller Readers Choice Awards. And this year, last week, actually, we just picked up the number one hotel in the Caribbean and Central America voted by Condé Nast Traveller Readers Choice Awards. And we we're actually number 16 in the world. So um, that really is great. Um, for you to be able to tell your guests if they weren't already convinced to come to S Hotel, um, they surely would be once they see those kind of accolades. Um, and just also to let you guys know, please do um, follow us on Instagram at Paradise Promotions Marketing. We do pull out a winner of our followers every uh, month and we give a £25 Amazon voucher. So if you're not lucky enough to win today, perhaps if you are not already following um, Paradise Promotions, but you could register now, you would... Um, might be lucky enough to win one of our monthly prizes. And that's it, my, uh, my details are on the screen. I will send all the follow-up out. I hope that I've just about managed to do it in the time I was allocated, um, but I'm gonna hand back to Sarah now. 
Super, thank you very much, Victoria. And yes, she was very fast again today, so that's good. But you covered a lot, and it was all very, very relevant to what we need. So a big thank you to um, to both Victoria, Catherine, and also to Adele. Um, I know Adele's going to follow up with you all um, later on. We've got a couple of questions that Catherine's already been answering, and we've got a couple of questions Vic, that have come in for you. Um, so Susie has sent in three questions. Um, what is the average price of dining in town close to Sands at Grace Bay? Oh, sorry, sorry, I was answering something in the group. Yeah, it's what, for you. Sorry, what was the question? What was what the, is the average? What is the average price of dining in town close to Sands at Grace Bay? Okay, uh, it really depends where you go. It's like everywhere. You've got street vans. You've got uh, the fish fry, which I think is on a Thursday night. Um, there are street bars, and then you've got fine dining restaurants. I would say everything is in US dollars. And because Turks and Caicos is really just sandbanks, they don't they don't grow or cultivate anything. So it is more expensive um, for the Caribbean. I would probably say it's a bit more like Barbados um, because you they are importing everything. Um, so it, it's not a cheap destination to eat out in. OK, super. Thank you very much. How much are the cabanas at the Shore Club? Uh, I believe they are 150 US dollars per day, but I will double check that as well. And I will send it out on my follow up that I'll send to everybody. Thank you very much. Um, is the club at the S Club private to the hotel or is it open to public? No, it's open to the public. But if you're staying as a guest at S Hotel, it's free to go into. And then obviously the public, if they come in, they would pay for it. Super. Thank you very much. Catherine, what's your favourite hotel and why? Probably, um, I think probably Irufushi. Um, Irufushi. Yeah, it's it's big enough, um, but, you know, the, to have lots of things to do, but not too big as well. So you can walk around it in about sort of 20, 25 minutes. It's very classy and they've done it all lovely. Well, it's just calming. Everything's done well. Yeah. Super. And you, so in terms of adult only, do you have any specific adult only hotels? No, um, but the, the basically the smaller ones tend, tend to to um, attract the adults more than, than, than the kids just because of the size. It's got, they're quite small, they're quite intimate. So the Villa Reef and the Era Valley tends to be more um, adults, but there's not, they're not adult only, no. Okay, super. And I know we spoke, we spoke about, uh, was it a month ago, um, I had somebody that was interested in sort of the Maldives, sort of, and you gave me a really good example of a twin centre. Um, so tell us, tell us a bit about the twin centres that sort of work really well for your, for your group. Yeah, so basically there's uh, the Irafushi and the CM World. Those two are actually next door to each other. They are a five minute boat ride away. Very different resorts. So it, it's a nice comparison. If they've got a longer stay, you know, it's sort of 14 nights. I think it'd be great to do seven nights and seven nights. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and I would start with the CM World, then go over to the Irafushi because you always start what I call the lower grade property into to climax with the higher grade property. And the same goes for, for down south. Um, we have the Iru Valley and the Villa Reef. Again, only a, a short boat ride away. So as long as you get to a minimum of three nights, three nights at each, we'll, we'll throw that boat transfer uh, in for free. So you just nip you over. Yeah. And again, start at the Villa Reef, I would, and then then, then uh, finish off at the Iru Valley. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much, Catherine. Um, Vic, can you just put your contact detail up again quickly just uh dawn's asking for it we will send a follow-up anyway with everybody's contact details on it um you want me to share screen then just to do that quickly yeah just just with your contact details and um, catherine tracy's asked um if you can sort of send again an email address um she wants to discuss some marketing options for the hotels on her website so okay. again um Tracy, we will. I will send out the whole the whole contact details um, tomorrow when I send the recording. Um, Catherine, can you just put your email address now? Yes, thank <laughs> you. Afterwards, <laughs> Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, and Neil's just sent us a lovely little message saying thank you for the training today on your value partnerships, which again it does hold testament that these hotels and tourist boards that are on any of the webinars through my booking rewards they're completely trade friendly 
wanting to work with you, which in this day and age is, is gold. So um, they are here. Make sure you support them. If you do need anything from them, they are amazing. Um, Vic, many times I've, I've spoken to you. Catherine, you was amazing. Sadly, the client never booked, um, but he, you know, it was perfect for him. So thank you very, very much to all of you. So thank you. Um, Vic, um, Susan's just popped in. Do you do your hotels do and have any fam opportunities for US agents? Um, or can you pop them in contact with the equivalent person? Yeah, definitely. If you drop me an email, I will send your details over to the rep for the US. And then when they organize fam trips, they'll be able to reach out to you. Super amazing. Thank you very much. So we're going to get to the point of the day now where we see if you've been listening. Um, so we've got a little question for you. As a reminder, every single person on the webinar gets a prize draw point. If you answer these questions correctly, you get 10 prize draw points, but it's the first person with the fastest finger. Um, it doesn't mean you win. It just means you get the 10 points and then I put everybody into a spin to win and I will let you know the winners tomorrow. So Adele had to leave us. So Adele from the Calabash, Co, uh, Calabash Grenada, she has asked a question for me. So if everybody can go to chat and make sure your drop down is, it says everyone. So relating to Adele at Calabash, how much is the minimum resort credit offered by our winter offer? Da -da. On fire, excellent. Neil, you are very quick. Um, yes, it is of course 400 US dollars. So. Neil, you've got your 10 prize draw points there. <laughs> it was listening. Excellent. Um, Catherine. How many bars and restaurants are there at the Santiago Refugee? Again. How many bars and restaurants at the Southern Siam Irifushi? Okay. There's lots going on there. They are been listening, haven't they? They have been listening. So we seem to have 14 as being a common number. Would you say that that was the correct answer? <laughs> that jolly well is, yes, 14. Excellent. So Lucinda, you was the first person. Um, Neil was fastest finger here as well, but you can't have two. So Lucinda, <laughs> just writing your name down. Super, thank you. Last but not least, we've got Victoria. Which yeah. hotel are you going to pick? I'm going to pick S Hotel um, towards the end of the presentation. So it's quite an easy one. Uh, I mentioned um, a award that had just been won last week. And I just wondered if anyone could tell me what that was for. Ah, what it was for. Good. Okay, so we've got lots of Condé Nast. So the first person that said a uh, subject was the best hotel. Would yeah, that it was count? Yeah, I think or that would be like okay, the number one hotel, number one ranked hotel in the Caribbean and South America. So yeah, yeah I, I'd hotel. go for the best. It's the best hotel. It's, it's the best. Yeah. Excellent. So that was Anne. Wonderful. You've all got your 10 prize draw point entries. Everybody else has got one. I will let you know the winners tomorrow. I will send the follow up with the recording and everybody will be copied in. If you do have any further questions, please let them know. Victoria, Catherine, we love you. Thank you so much for coming on today. Um, we love your hotels and we will be sending lots of bookings your way. So thank you. And thank you everybody for coming thank on. You. I know it's busy out there, so we appreciate it. That's Thanks great. a lot. And thank you, Sarah, as well. Thank you. Oh, no problem at all. Have a good weekend. Okay. All right. Take care, Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.